I found this dirty old ruler at a yard sale. I wasn't sure how to clean it without losing the numbers and markings. My first attempt was a Q-tip and tap water. It looked like water was removing some of the grime. So I went over one section of the ruler with tap water using a cotton ball. Here's the section I cleaned with water compared to the untouched section below. I decided to escalate a little by adding some palm olive dish soap to the water. First I tried the section I had cleaned with water. The soapy water didn't seem to remove any more dirt, but it also didn't seem to affect the markings and numbers. I went ahead and washed the entire ruler with the soapy water and cotton balls. Here's the ruler after its bath. It looked a little better. My next move was to try some oxalic acid. I added one part acid to six parts hot water. I tested the acid in a small section first. It didn't seem to harm the markings. Here's the ruler after two applications of oxalic acid. It seemed improved, but I still wasn't satisfied. I decided to try some super fine steel wool and mineral spirits. Again, I tried it first in a small section. I used very light pressure. It seemed like it was removing the grime without damaging the markings. I went over the whole ruler, trying carefully to just use enough pressure to remove the stains without damaging the markings. Okay, here's what the ruler looked like when I brought it home from the yard sale. And here it is now. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. It's a lot cleaner, and the markings are still very legible.
I gave it a couple coats of paste wax to help protect it. Gradually escalating the intensity of my cleaning method paid off. I feel like this was good practice for when I may have to clean up more of these types of rulers. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. The whole time I was working on this ruler, the misalignment when closed was bugging me. I noticed two tiny holes that might have been for an alignment pin. I tapped a tiny nail into one hole and cut off the head. I drilled out the matching hole to accept my nail pin. Now it stays aligned when collapsed. Much better. I found an example of my ruler in better condition on eBay. It looks like it might have had an alignment pin when it was new.